when Bob arrived in Jamaica, within minutes, literally minutes, 56 Hope Road would be filled with people. I mean, you could hardly find a way to walk through the yard. And these, the crowds spilled over onto the street, down the road. Uh, Bob spent hours, hours, especially at night, interviewing people in need. At that time, there was a lot of political violence, and a lot of women lost their fathers because of this. He became, as it were, the father of their children. He gave a lot of handouts to them. Then there were people who would be dependent on him for hot meals. Every day we had to have funds around to make sure that certain people got something to eat. Chris Blackwell once said in an interview that Bob probably took care of maybe 4,000 people. I think that's even a modest estimation. It might even have been much more than that. There was another side of him which was extremely disciplined. Not only with respect to his art and craft as an artist, writer, musician, but he didn't tolerate indiscipline around him, you know, he was very, very bright. Although he didn't like people to think that he was, he, in fact, he tried to portray a different picture, but he was extremely shrewd. Have you made a lot of money out of your music? Money? I mean, what is, how, much is, how much is a lot of money to you? Yeah, that's a good question. Have, have you made, say, millions of dollars? No. Are you a rich man? What do you mean rich? What do you mean? Do you have a lot of possessions? A lot of money in the bank? Position make you rich? I don't, I don't have that type of richness. My richness is life forever. Hope Road was always swarming with people, and for the same reason, looking for an opportunity, looking for some money, looking for a handout, need a job, my children's school fees, on and on and on. We have lines every day at Hope Road. People from all walks, they bring the baby, they bring the kids, they bring... And you have long lines, and you just hand out. And he doesn't just give like pittance, you know, he'll give you enough. <laughs> you can start something, you know. 